Okay, so Carly, <laughs> you've joined me at the desk oh, yes. and you have lots of things with you. <laughs> You're making me hungry with a cereal box. I know, it's that time of day. <laughs> yes, it cereal is. Cereal for That's breakfast. That's true. Oh, yum. <laughs> My turn to make you hungry. I know. It is. <laughs> I don't have any cereal in the box though. But um, it's for? Yeah, so 10 days away. Today is October 4th. On October 14th, we have an annular solar eclipse that's coming up mm -hmm. that I'm really excited about. Um, the most important thing with solar eclipse is you do not want to stare directly at the sun. And so you can either buy the special NASA approved solar eclipse glasses uh, to look up at the sun or you can experiment with other ways to do it. And one of those ways is by creating a solar eclipse viewer. It's also been called a pinhole viewer because you just take either a safety pin or a pin and you poke a tiny hole and look through uh, your box that way. Um, and so we'll explain how to do that. So uh, if you can't find the glasses or you wait too late to order them from Amazon or you're scared you ordered ones that aren't NASA approved. Uh, or this you're is, a parent and you want your kids to be yes, busy. Exactly. <laughs> Arts and crafts. Um, yeah. Yes. And so what you need is some sort of box. It doesn't have to be cereal. It can be a shoe box, um, any type of box. Okay. Uh, but I mean, kid size, yeah. ideal. Then you're going to need some foil and scissors and tape. This is the only tape I had. Um, I don't know if masking tape's the best, but any tape works. And then just some white paper and something to poke a hole with. So whether that's a a pin you write with or a safety pin, um, either one of those would work. So what you're going to start with is opening your box and then you can put your white paper at the end of the box. That just makes it a better view of the sun. You don't have anything that may be inhibiting it inside the box. So it, it clears that space up, kind of like a projector screen. Then what you're going to want to do is cut some holes in your box. So the holes are small. You need one hole that's just big enough for your for your eyeball to look through. And you want to keep them fairly small because the more light that gets inside the box, the worse your view is going to be. You want to limit the light getting through to only the little tiny pinhole. We're going to use the, the foil. <laughs> the foil to make. Um, so what you do is you cut a little bit of foil or you can just fold the foil up into small, a small little thing, um, but another, so more scissor cutting. And then essentially you would poke a hole in your foil and it just needs to be big enough for the sun to get through. That's something you can do too, is experiment with your kids. What size hole do you like? it puts the best view of the sun because you can look at the sun now without it being the eclipse uh, through your through your viewer as well. So then you would take this and tape it over. So you cut two holes in your box. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself, but you're going to want two holes. You want a little bigger, bigger hole and then a, a smaller hole. And then you'll put the foil over the bigger hole to create your pinhole and then close the box, tape it all up and that is pretty much it. And so the way that you would look at the sun, because that's the tricky part, yes, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That is, is a tricky part. Is you have to have the, the top of the box facing the sun. Okay. So for our solar eclipse, it's going to be high noon. So the sun's going to be right overhead. So you're going to kind of want to look through the hole and then you'll see the light coming in through um, the tiny hole that you made. There you'll you see the light starting to come through as you like move around like this and then you'll see the sun being projected on it. And so that is, there's an example there of what go. it looks like. That's perfect. So, um, yeah. And you can get creative, you know, for parents and kids yeah. and decorate your cereal box. Yeah, that, yeah. that would be fun. Um, s s images of suns. And yes. then if you, you like your decoration, you can send it in to color the weather at KTYTV.com and we'll that feature idea. it on the news leading up to the solar eclipse and after it. Yes, why, why not? not? 